lovelies, my name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Hilarity. Today I am doing the small YouTuber tag. I've never actually talked to you guys about some of this stuff so I thought it's about time that I do this tag. Question number one. What inspired you to start making videos? I wasn't actually very inspired. Just gonna say. I had watched like a few YouTube videos but I was having a hard time journaling, writing, blogging. I had started blogging, but it was very off and on. And I had just had it placed on my heart that I was to make videos and to just be brutally honest and show my life for a year and what I go through daily and how random and weird I am. And I just felt like it was put on my heart for God to just move through people's lives to make people feel not lonely and that's what inspired me initially it ended up being way more for me than i ever thought it would be <laughs> i really didn't want to make videos or especially not daily videos where like i look a hot mess and i'm like i think i've cried i've been sick i've had my face all swollen like not many people want to do that. Next question is, how long have you been on YouTube and do you have any other channels? I have been on YouTube for a year and two months um, because I started a project called My Life with Chronic Pain beginning of 2014, the first year, and I did 365 plus videos that entire year where I vlogged every single day of my life with a chronic illness. Do I have any other channels? I have one that's just my name. I didn't ever place any videos or actually really know what I was doing until I placed that very first video that was on the day before I started kind of explaining what I was doing. So <sighs> I don't know how I made it through that. Question three, where do you see yourself in five years on YouTube? No idea. Like I didn't even think I would get through a year of vlogging and have anybody watched my videos? I kind of thought they were going to be like more of like a personal diary type thing. In five years, I hope that I still have the community that I do, that I'm still getting comments that just bring joy to my life every day, that I can still interact and help people and be helped. Um, I just want to make people laugh and just bring some brightness to their life. And I mean, it's different. Sometimes I want to make you guys laugh. Sometimes I want to make you feel not alone. Sometimes I want to um, encourage you and so all different things. So I just hope to be doing that five years from now still. I don't think I would want anything to change because I just think that's enough and I think that's really cool. Number four, what message are you trying to get across to your videos? There are some videos I do where I have a clear message but for the most part, I honestly do my life with chronic pain. So some days it will be talking about how much pain or how sick I feel that day. And that's all I talk about. And there are other days where I want to talk about makeup. And the next day I might want to talk about movies. But in each specific video, I do have kind of the same message, which is you're not alone. You have people that so what are here to support you and listen to you most of the time I want to make you guys laugh and bring some lightness to your day or just even a distraction if you guys are having a really bad pain day and I can ramble on for 20 minutes and make you guys happy that is a good day for me it's just funny funny little things too like Bella always usually makes a little bit you guys noticing things like that that I don't even notice because I'm so used to and um, reminding you of the animals that you have or I don't know it's just it's things that I don't even intend to connect and it does and it's it's just really cool so five do people from school find your channel well, I don't know what school it would be but uh, actually when I first started this channel that's all I thought were gonna be who watched my videos was Facebook like people on my Facebook I don't think really that many people that I know in real life watch my videos <laughs> be like 10 views and that would be like 10 of my friends it ended up being a whole bunch of other people that reached out to some of my friends catch them here and there and that's really cool 
Um, but I think my favorite ones are when I can grab one of my friends and have them be in one of my videos. The last one, what does your username mean? Okay, so my username is Painful Hilarity. A lot of people don't know how to say that. The reason I chose that name, and it's originally from my blog, and the kind of way that I deal with my illness and deal with life and my family deals with life is we use a lot of humor. A lot of situations when you're chronically ill, I mean, you just have to laugh at them. I mean, they're so ridiculous. It's Painful hilarity is just a mixture of talking about my pain, but also bringing some humor and lightness to the situation. I'm one of those people that makes up words, and so I was just like, oh, okay, painful. Is hilarity a word? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm just going to have it be a word. <laughs> and that's kind of like what happened. I just was like, okay, that's a word now. Question number seven, who is your favorite small YouTuber? This is really hard for me because I actually have quite a few. I did do a an entire vlog and I will link it down below to my favorite YouTubers and I posted all of them and kind of just did really briefly talked about them. I honestly don't think I could pick one. Definitely Jennifer H for General Health, um, Lori Fikes Likes, Lily Yu, Leanne. Julie, she's been posting recently again. Gosh, it's so hard. I have so many. I It's crazy how many people I'm subscribed to. A lot of smaller ones too, and they tend to be some of my favorites. So yeah, those are just a few. I will link them down below if you want to check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. Sending out X double O's and bye!